Now, in my opinion, the memento pattern is one of the easiest patterns to learn because it makes a whole lot of sense and it solves one simple purpose, and that's recording state. So basically what I want you to think of is, you know, playing back a recording of something that you did. In StarCraft, you can imagine, you know, recording your game, then playing it back. So this demo is basically, um, once I hit the space bar, it's going to start recording the mouse movement. And once I hit the space bar again, it's going to stop recording. The cool thing here is if I start pressing the left arrow key, it's going to rewind. So here's the left arrow key going, and it's rewinding, 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 all the way back to the beginning. Then if I hit the right arrow key, it's going to start replaying the, the motion going all the way back. And any point of time I can stop, rewind, go forward again, rewind. So it's basically recorded the XY value um, on enter frame, stored it into a large array, and then grabbing those values and replaying them and resetting the, this red circle object, which is my quote unquote marine. So if you look at how we're going to do this in the code, um, I have a lot of the shell stuff set up. Uh, so whenever you hit the space bar, it's going to um, reset and stop. So uh, uh, and then start recording is in here. Yep. Whenever you do the on enter frame and if you hit the left key, it'll rewind and the right key, it'll start playing. And the Marine is just a red circle. And the Marine Recorder just has those play, rewind, record, reset methods in here. And it has this array um, just called mementos that's ready to uh, accept that mementos object, the memento object that records the state. Now what this object is going to look like, um, all we have to do is come in here and create a new class. And we'll just call it uh, Marine Memento. And then we're going to give it the two simple properties of a, um, we'll just do this, a X, and this will be a number, and a Y will be a number, and then we'll create the constructor so that it takes both the X and the Y. So that is a memento object. It's a way to store properties that our Marine has into an object. Now, how you use this with the Marine, if we jump over to the Marine, all you're going to do is just have um, a getter. So, uh, function get uh, memento, and this is going to return our Marine memento. And every time you request that memento, it's going to return a new marine memento, uh, marine memento, with the X, with the current X and Y value of the marine itself. And then on the flip side, every time you um, every time you set the memento. We're going to pass in a value, which is going to be a marine memento. And we're going to say um, this.x equals value.x and this.y equals value.y. Now, hopefully that makes sense. You know, every time you try and get, it's going to wrap up these properties, um, which is basically the, the state properties of the marine and you know save them in an object that you can use later on to restore the state of the marine now back in our marine recorder all we're going to do is every time we want to record we will say mementos push uh, marine dot memento and that's going to get uh the that memento you know create the new um, memento and get it and push it into that array in our recorder 
And then when we play, um, you know, it's going to go through the array plus plus, rewind is minus minus, and all we're going to have to do is access that value from the array. So we'll set the value, say marine memento equals mementos um, memento index, you know, because the index is plus plus in this example. And the same exact thing here. Um, if, since we're winding, it's minus minus. And at that point, we're pretty much done. Um, we can run this bad boy. I'll hit the spacebar, it'll start recording my motion. Hit the spacebar again, it'll stop. Hit the left key. It'll start rewinding the motion. Hit the right key. It'll start playing it back. So again, the memento object is just a way you can wrap some state properties that are on the marine itself, um, wrap them up into an object that you can use later on to uh, return that as, uh, as an object that you can store, do whatever you want with it, and then get that object back and set the state back onto the marine. So I think it's a really simple pattern, but you know, obviously it has um, this very clear use case. So have fun with it.